Hi guys, Sarah here from Crochet Lefty and today I decided to do a March Favorites. Just a little quick video on the things that I love the most like yarn, crochet hooks. I have a couple of crochet books that I really enjoy and I also wanted to share with you a non-crochet favorite item. So to start things off, I want to show you guys. This is my favorite go-to yarn. It's paint box yarn and they have a chunky yarn. If I can get it to do a little close up here. Now these yarns are a hundred percent acrylic and they come in a wide variety of colors. Like this is their pink and it's in chunky. And then I have this yellow which in their DK. And they also have let me grab these over here. They also have an Iran weight, which is just a slightly heavier version of their DK weight. They also have the baby yarn and 100% cotton yarn. And they also came out um, a couple years ago with a wool mix yarn. So they have a chunky uh, wool mix yarn as well. What I love most about these yarns is the wide variety of colors that they offer. Just so many colors. Um, a non big box yarn that I really love, and I'm not sure if they're in business, which really is unfortunate, is the uh, Pearl and Ply yarn here. Now this is their 85% Super Merino wool. 15% uh, nylon and this is called Sweet Pea. I just love see all the beautiful colors and then this yarn here is Violent Pink and it's in that pattern that I have back here which is the Captivating Shot and then the gray is the sw Swanky Elephant and this is their Merino Wool with Cashmere and Nylon it's super nice. Um, here is their Ghost Ranch. This beautiful bluish teal. Um, so those are my favorites in yarn. Now I don't get fancy with my crochet hooks. Um, I buy them in packs. And that's the Susan Bates crochet hook. I just love this part of the hook that it's an actual hook. It's not rounded and for me metal is nice. It ha it slides with slides nicely with the yarn and it doesn't matter what type of yarn you ha you use. So if you do use um, the fingering weight yarn or a wool mixed yarn it's still going to get a nice good slide on it. Um, and my favorite book is actually the cro Crochet Stitch Bible. It is such a go-to book. And it's got a little bit of everything in it. Um, it has the squares and it has the diagrams too, which is very helpful if you're not very good like me at reading patterns. Um, has a little bit of Tuscan crochet in it. Um, and I think there's some flowers in here. Yeah, there's a, some little flower motifs in here that are really cute. Um, I know I've done a couple of stitch lessons with some of the stitches that are in this book. So, and it's great. It's got a bunch of beginner, very beginner type instructions to use. So this is my favorite. I've had probably had this one the longest out of all my books. And, <clears throat> and lastly, my non-crochet item is which I use this so much for crochet. It's just not a, a yarn or a hook or a book. I mean, um, it is a book, but it's my Erin Condren, Erin Condren planner. It's the um, horizontal, I think that's what they're calling it. And it's got all the colors in it. And yes, I do decorate my planner with stickers and all kinds of whatnots. 
so this really helps me keep on track. And then I also have an Erin Condren notebook with just empty pages with a little list here on the side. And I usually write my goals and stuff, things I want to get completed for the week, and then I transfer these into my planner and spread it out through the week and what I need to get done as far as patterns and filming and all that stuff. So, like I said, short and quick, to the point, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that little red subscribe button down at the bottom so that you can become part of the Crochet Lefty Club. And I hope to see you guys again. Um, so have a great one. Bye.